All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. I thought that instead of trying to pursue some leads, we uh, actually go interact with some of the people we have known and loved in this troubling time. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How do you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences? Why, Jesucristo, me. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. You know more, Mama Wells? I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, vi. Thankfully, I was going the right way. Let's go see about going to Jackie's. I get. I guess that's what we would call a funeral. Yeah, I, I stole a car. <laughs> Just a, a better looking one at least. Cause you can't really keep up with the ones you do steal. Closing the distance that quickly either. I'm a demon never leaving. A better soul of rage and fear. That one thing that she said. No, no, there we go. to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So? Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. A lot of time has passed. 
How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. Let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Uh, what's an ofrenda? An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> And there will be beer. So, like a memorial, okay. Could help, help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart? It's in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He is gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. All right. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Was it down the road? Oh, right here. Hi, V. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Nah, Jack was... Jack was a little of that, too. Always looking on the bright side. He wore his heart on his sleeve. And wasn't at all afraid to live fully. Had his inner demons, though. Who doesn't? Exactly. They're what makes us who we really are on the inside. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Come on. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. 
No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Scan and search the garage. Choose an offering for the ofrenda. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Nice. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? <laughs> ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Hey, I feel you. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Please, let's not mention that year anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Just definitely. Is this a book? For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the ofrenda, though. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere. Found it. In we go. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. <laughs> But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium? They used to be tacos. tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Oh, I know he probably did. <laughs> Is there something behind here? Okay, no. I take it Taco died or something? <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, Jack in. Use. I don't want to, like, steal his shit. About his bike. What 
what else is in here? Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Nice still. Wait, what's that? What is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Jeez. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Good man. Let's see. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your refrenda, but we could look around a little more. Come on. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Mm. Right. That's fucked up. Come on. You gotta come, Let's go. Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? Yep. Come on. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Damn. No, I feel you. I feel you on that. It took me a while to settle once I moved. to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Hey, Vic. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. Descansa en paz, mi hijo.
Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It feels like it happened a century ago. At another time, in another place. Jackie saved my life. And then years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost Absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. You sure? <laughs> you sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. You too, Mama Wells. Gonna Count miss him. Was all torn up. I Guess already he feels do. like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you. <laughs> Me that. too, Chica. Oh, Chica. <sighs> Go start it. Eh? Not Here's today. to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells.
proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Don't drink yourself into a stupor, man. Pour you another? For Jackito? Pour. For Jackie. Amen, sister. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar in his favorite spot where he always used to sit. Is this the Valentino, the gang? Hey, there? you! Have a drink with us. Huh? To Wells? Oh, Jesus Christ. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. <laughs> all right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Padre, where is he at? Up the stairs? Are these the stairs? Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took him into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. <laughs> I don't know what that means, I'm but that's know. funny. Go with God. All right, let's get out of here. Ah. Okay, so now we can actually... Wait, is my, is my car repaired? Let's use Jackie's motorcycle for right now. I love that, man. I love that. Look at that. Okay, so where is it? I also wanted to um, do the. I, I want to do a couple, a lot, a uh, few side missions. But this one, definitely, I wanted to check out. This is the the one the one that popped up right after our car got wrecked by a fucking cab. Ugh. It just got real dark, all dark all of a sudden, and I don't like that. Is it because of the area we're in, or just the time of day?
that just popped open. He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Zerk Brain! Um. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, doll. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Hey, hey. Hear about the oh, accident? I've gotten into you, Dell. Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Give him any numbers. That's how um, they find you. 77 Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. Public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111110096? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamain if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah. Oh, shit, Special okay. Treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure. Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm following the handle, little buddy. Please follow the drone. We shall speak. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. I Alas, thought you would it. The shop is currently overwhelmed with work. Then again, I guess you just only why. repair your own uh, vehicles. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. Makes sense. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganex. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why do you need me to be discreet? Oh. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspection suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking in CPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. What? Ow! Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Okay. Just leave the garage. Never thought I'd be hunting down AI ran cars before. Because 
so there's one relatively close by. side mission for each borough of the city. out of it. You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. Have a look around. Well, we've got an exact location. And it's is it driving or speeding? Speeding, but it's driving all over the place. Crushes who? Oh God! Oh jeez! Yes. How fortunate. I've relinked to the vehicle. Thank you. A share of your fee is in your account. Okay. Where is the next one? I take it that's... Is that the closest one, really? Let's actually look at the map. So this is the... We're in the Haywood Glen area. So we'll just cycle through. Hopefully we get the closest one each time. This is insane, man. Hunting down AI cars. Keep it straight, yep. There was no point in turning off here, was it? Do have a look around 
the area. I lost contact with the Delamain network vehicle nearby. Will do. Turning around. Little Capitan. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan. And they call you... See no introductions necessary. I need to care of them. Someone comes to me with beers, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe beers. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes? I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? Well, I keep getting offered them, so sure. Have you come to finish me off? No, just here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa! Whoa. Easy! Not out to hurt you. But I am. Why would you do this? Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you. There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go what? back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. <laughs> a body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. I don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. <sighs> Fine, I'll go back. Awesome. I'd offer it to a human, a car, a monkey. Control of the vehicle restored. And I thank you. Not a problem, Ought to show Dale. this one some love. Same. Apologies. I simply don't understand. And fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. Okay, a little weird to think of an AI as an absent dad, but <laughs> I guess that's how it is. All right, so where is the Badlands? Which one is closest, north side or coast view? What? That is not what I selected. side of the road. I'm on the wrong side of the road. There we go. Oh, Jesus. What did I... Did I, it, like, hit the curb or something? So, can I get a call, please? Coaster? On high alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled. Oh, right there.
talk to it. Ring, ring. Is that? Was it worth it? On a scale of one to six, I'd say I'm saying it. That's a Gladys so reference. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now Let's ready be to there. begin the test. We don't do anything to you. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. Another. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you. Of course and you all are. the cake is gone. Oh my god. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. Truth in the core. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five. Hail four. the sacromat. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Time to play. Oh, Jesus. Why is my health going down? There's one more. They get in that car? You gonna go back now? Either you shut down, or I'll turn you into a scrap heap. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Going back to Delamain really so scary, you gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned. That's enough. Enough! What's your point anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you're dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked. I don't like that. I've made contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly impertinent, that one. A share of your fee is being processed. Thanks, Del. Let's, let's have that one reprogrammed, please. Uh, let's look at the map. What? Where is the closest one supposed to be? Because, what is this? Haywood City Center. I guess that might be the closest. Yeah, but you know what? Let's actually check out the, uh, the other ones. That's even farther. And I know the Badlands is probably the farthest. And the other one was like what, a thousand? Was that North Oak? Oh, no, it was three thousand. Jesus. No, it's screw it. Let's just do it the way it gives it to us. Glados just the uh, the prototype for every unsettling AI. I'm pretty sure she is. Sir? 
this lane is entirely empty. So I might as well just stick here. God. And then it just phased right through the ground. It didn't. It didn't crash. One of my missing vehicles might very well be near where you are now. Thanks. Try to find it. How many have we done? Like three or four? Can't take it. It's too much. Huh? What is? Going to sleep? You're welcome in, but do take it slow and try not to hit anything. I, I can't really get in. Hold on. Don't! Don't kill me! I got Valentino buttons! Yeah, I don't care. Too fast. I'm not gonna drive at a snail's pace just to get you back home. I never thought we'd be driving one of these things. Enough. I need a moment to calm down. Okay. All right. Now, we certainly can't stay here. Keep driving. Is this classified as slow driving, what I'm doing right now? Because I'm trying. Might not be working. I'm trying to keep moving, but you know. Maybe I could if there was a cruise control mode.
almost there. Keep calm, buddy. Keep calm. Right up around this corner. Wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. Huh. But still, I thank you. Okay. Said it was utterly horrifying. Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. Get on. Four out of seven. We got like three more. I could have swore it was just telling me to go forward. Where are we going exactly? Into the Badlands? No. Let's not do that one just yet. Let's go do north side where's that fast jump point I saw around the corner nope it was at the other corner that I just passed you know what screw it Let me just yeet myself over here. Alright, to uh, north side. This is the closest one. Alright. V, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. What? Fine. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Okay. And yet you've given me the precise location almost. Step closer. 
Relax. Just trying to help you. Hey, slow down. Leave me be! Oh god, am I gonna have to go off-roading with this thing? managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Closes this one. The next. You're okay, the bad what lands one is closer. Oh god. <laughs> this is probably not the smartest thing to do on a regular motorcycle. I'm getting fast travel points all over the city. This way? Is that really how this freeway works? That's incredibly dangerous. Thing that I have close to that that I can just fast travel to um not necessarily can I yeah I can't fast travel directly to that from where I'm at but I can from here doll looks like in first person.
right, so I'm going. Hmm, huh, right here actually. Which, where is that? It's actually closer, so let's do that. Oh, Jesus. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I recognize the bridge. Wait, where's my car? Where's my vehicle? vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. Oh, wow. All the way in that scrap heap. I need to find a way down. that I need to get down, I could just jump. I don't want to be stranded. What if I... Nope, that... Can't jump that. But thankfully, there is just no railing here. Off-roading we go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Um get get off the bike. Get off the bike. Okay. That's how that works. Keep doing that. Close. Can, can I get a delivery? There we go. That's... <laughs> that's that problem fixed. My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. Name's V. Thanks for the intel. Things flow differently out here. Keep your head on, city kid. Get in. You'll find it easier to talk. Okay. Hello, V. Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? Didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. Okay? So I'm from another world to you? From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, V. 
There lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Delamay. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes. Terms there will be. But not with Delamay. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. I've re-established the link. A thousand thanks, V. Gotta say, pretty disturbing, that one. Is that so? Well, I've transferred a share of your fee to your account. Yeah, that one's gonna try to kill a bunch of people. I bet. I would bet I would put money on it. I don't know how it's gonna do it, but it's gonna try. Although, what was that, um... What was that killer car movie from, like, the 70s? The possessed car movie? Or, like, when Roger was a sh an American dad, he was a chauffeur for a limo, and he just used it to murder a bunch of college students. Oh no, no, I didn't mean to do it, it was an accident! Okay, so... Where is this last cat? Sending the coordinates of a vehicle that went dark near to where you are now. Thanks. I'll try to find and reset. Went dark, huh? Fully dark. So no contact whatsoever. We'll fix it as best we can. Flamingos are a problem, I'm sure, but it's time to go home. Delamain's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence them. So, a slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Have to murder a bunch of flamingos?
Oh, they're lawn flamingos. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Um. Just punching flamingos to death. Just. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Okay, we got a specific number we're supposed to t destroy. Wait, why am I over, over income? Oh no, I was just out of uh, stamina. Excuse me, child. Call me the Flamingo Flayer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk to the Divergent Delamain. Is it gonna call me? Yeah. Is it around here somewhere? Well, Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? That's terrifying. Perhaps I ought to return after all. I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Clarice? Shut down. Okay. Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? Yeah, I've been better. And you, Del? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face to face, so Sounds to speak. Sounds great. All right, we're we're headed back into town, so let's just actually run over here. Fast travel right near it. Let's talk, give my money, and I hope everything is uh, put to the side. Del? There you Hello, go. Miss. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. Not a problem. How did your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise, I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. Awesome. That was the weirdest mission in, in a game that I've ever played. Oh, look at her. Good as new. Okay, so I think when we return, we're gonna see what else we can get up to. So I thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for watching, and I will be back in a moment.